you Thayati. I'll keep it really short. I know uh, we, we have to start the awards also. Just two questions from what you said Guruji, you know, out of and, and this is a room full of people who deal with numbers in and out on a daily basis. Anxiety, stress, I think is a daily routine uh, for all of us here. Uh, how do you make inter, uh, how do we bring the spiritual dose to our daily lives here? Which, which is practical, which is easy to practice? If you could share a few of your thoughts on this. Yeah, so I would recommend the ABCD to you, all of you. A stands for association. You need the right association of people who are inclined in this manner. B stands for books. Get hold of the right books which help you in this particular domain. As I said, that there are different ways of dealing with anxiety caused by change. One is most common now, go to the psychiatrist and take a pill. But is there an alternative to the pill? We say yes. That was our ancient solution. It was called perspective. Having alternative perspectives to why this change has happened is a great alternative solution to the pill. Therefore, books which help you get that perspective. C stands for contemplation, investing quality time for your contemplation. This contemplation is technically called in Sanskrit as yoga and there are different ways you do it in different traditions. And D stands for diet and then based on the kind of diet you have, it affects your mind, effect, it affects your anxiety symptoms. And therefore, this ABCD is something which anyone can prioritize and make it happen. You gave an example of how your friend who got a silver medal was thinking of committing suicide. And then, of course, you know, failure is a daily part of our lives and we, we take it in a very different way. And sometimes we talk about that we should celebrate it, but it's not really, it's easier said than done. What is your uh, take on failures in, in, in an everyday life and business? How do you see that? How should people deal with those failures? Yes. So when you're approaching the rainy season or monsoon in Maharashtra, you know what is coming and you prepare for it. So the important thing is to know that life will be full of challenges, difficulties and failures. And so we have to prepare for it accordingly. One of the most popular serials during the pandemic was the Mahabharata and the Ramayana. And it shows, however mighty and powerful you may be, there will always be ups and downs. So the important thing is preparing yourself. And when the 2007 Lehman Brothers scam happened and the global economy was going down. The Indian economy was going up and one of the famous business school professors wrote an article, wrote a paper on it, on why the Indian economy is going up. And he concluded that it was mainly due to the attitude of the Indian person and that is of resilience and he called it Jugaad. That come what may, try to think out of the box. So I was traveling on a flight from Mumbai to Kolkata and I landed in Kolkata. We had a program in Kharagpur which was three hours away. I had two friends from America who were with me. When we landed, we were told that that day is Bangal Band. So I came out, they welcomed us with garlands and I thought today's Bengal Band program must be cancelled. So I asked my host, program is cancelled, right? Because we can't travel three hours Bangal Band. They said, no, program is on. We have come to pick you up in an ambulance. I said, wow, that is really out of box. When we were entering, my American friends asked, why are we entering an ambulance? I said, that's too difficult for me to explain. Because I have to explain what is a band first. And then as we entered in, people were stopping us and one guy stopped us and said, I want to see who is behind. I was sitting in front. My two American friends in the back after taking breakfast and garlands around their neck were sleeping peacefully. He looked inside and said, Inki atma ko shanti mile. And within two hours we reached our destination. What is important is, whatever may be the situation, prepare for failures, develop your resilience and practice developing that resilience. And there is a process and technique for developing that resilience and that is what is known as meditation and contemplation. 
Wonderful. My final question, you know, you've written a book on focus and resilience. And on a day-to-day -day basis, we struggle with focus. The phone is around, there are multiple notifications. Uh, the art of focus, how, how can one become more focused? What is effective leadership also? An added question, if you could throw some light on this. The entire gamut of focus and leadership can be brought down and boiled down to just one word, priority. And priority is a moment-to-moment -moment decision and we have to be constantly having the ability to pick up the right lenses at the right moment. Because if you look at a beautiful rose flower with a high magnification lens, it will look ugly. And if you look at an ugly scene with a lens which pushes it behind, it looks much better. So depending on what experience we go through at a particular moment, we would require the maturity, the ability, the discrimination to make the right choices, priority on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. Thank you, Guruji, for sharing your insights and uh, blessing us with your great thoughts. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you all very much.